sleep to, not live to. Hello my friends, welcome to part 67 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and we are now in the frozen wilds. Last episode we grabbed the amazing shield weaver armor, which is great. Um, it's got a force field, it is absolutely amazing. So I'm still testing it. I want to see how this fares against, um, you know, like elemental damage. Because I know tanks, basically it will save me from getting one-shotted, which is great. There is a cooldown time of a few seconds and the shield, you know, goes back up. I love it. I think it's great. It might be a bit overpowered, but we'll see, guys. We'll see how we get on with this. But I want to test the elemental thing as well. All right, so what are we doing today? <laughs> okay, there's a quest called A Secret Shed. So let me show you on the map. There's a ton of blue gleam I want to grab as well. Um, obviously, we're not going to do that right now. The point I'm making is um, we need to go all the way up here. However, we're going to teleport here. We're going to travel these little pathway things. There's a thunder jaw there. Maybe I could fight it, but we'll see. But I want to grab this blue gleam and perhaps these three maybe we could do that afterwards now in case you're wondering why don't i just uh, run through there through the map so we can open up the map a little bit there is a quest here called waterlogged we're going to do this probably in the next episode but um that's when i'll you know start opening the map up a little bit but i may as well just teleport here it'll be a bit quicker guys anyway guys hope you're all doing well and also if you're enjoying the content please leave the video a like sub if you're new i would really appreciate it because it really helps me out a bunch really appreciate it all right guys so i'm going to teleport um oh there's a story here we'll sit down for that at the end of the video guys so i'll teleport up north i'll see you over there hey guys we are back okay i'm a little bit confused actually um I'm trying to get there. Do you remember, a, well, a, few, a good few episodes ago when we did, I think it was the Shaman's Path. I found a ladder here. Um, how do I get there? Oh, I hope I don't die. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. Right, this is the path. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. Or do I climb here? All right, here we go, guys. And besides, the map is actually telling me to go this way anyhow, so. However, I'm going to stick to the path. Um, if I do feel tempted, I may then face a thunder draw if we run into him. All right, there's a ladder here. Let's go down here safely. Right, what is down here? Is there any collectibles, data points? Not really. Okay, right, just before I go any further, okay, so we need to go up this way. So it's already guiding me there anyway. However, what's that? No, I'm trying to mark it. Oh, okay, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> That's my fault. So on the way there, we need to pick up a few gl uh, blue gleams. So we'll do that. I might as well get them out, why not? Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's telling me to go down. Uh, for the blue gleam, sorry. Oh, oh, crap. I hope this is okay. Well, we're still, we're still quite far. All right, tell you what. On these slopes. All right, let's just keep going further up and we'll see what happens. But it's saying it's down below. Okay, so this is the path. Oh my god, my mount is really struggling on these slopes, like Aloy said. Hmm. It has to be down there, guys. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Let's just go down, see what happens. Alright, there is a... Thing. Now, will that take me directly here? Okay, guys, let me try it. Let me try it. I'm going to take this uh, zip line. All right, there's a machine there. Okay. No, oh, no, 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 no. Right, how, what's happening here? 
Okay, that's a dead watcher. Right, kill you. Whoa, he's still alive? Oh my god, guys, he's still alive. Okay, he's got more health. I know why, he's probably demonic, right? Okay, all right, we started trouble, so Okay, all right at least blast wise will one shot Come on come on Dude Okay, <laughs> all right, there we go. He's still alive guys. They're really hardy. Oh My god <laughs> Okay, good good Right, has that alerted anyone else? No. Okay, oh, guys, I hope I'm not messing this up, but... The blue gleam is saying it's down that way. Okay, I tell you what, let's go around. Okay, we're not far, according to the map. There's a boar. <laughs> yes! Alright, found it, guys. There we go. So much for being careful. Okay, grab that. Nice. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we'll take that off the map now. Um, I guess we can go for this one, but I need to get up high again. So how do I do that? Alright, hey guys. Okay, so. I think this is my charger, <laughs> the original charger I had before. Okay, so that's the zip line. What I'm going to do is take the charger down this way. I want to try and follow this path as closely as possible. And here we go. Come on, charger. He's so slow. <laughs> no, but it is, it is very rough terrain, in fairness. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can I hear tramplers? Alright, what have we got? Right, we got a, tram uh, a trampler. Okay, so I want to try and sneak past him if possible. Okay, let me put on my Nora Stealth. If you run into any trouble, obviously I'll put the uh, thing. Okay. Got it. I think, guys, I think this is it. All right, got it, guys. Okay, this has to be it. Hey, Aloy, don't get stuck, please. <laughs> okay, let's check the map. Okay, and there's one more. Guys, let's get all three of these. Okay, there's one that way. Alright, we're very close, apparently. Okay, I'm just looking for anything on the map. Not the map, sorry, the scanner. <gasps> Is this it? Yes! <laughs> Guys, I get so excited when I find these things. <laughs> awesome. Very happy. Okay, this looks like it could have been a settlement here. Alright, cool. So that's that. Now, this is the pathway, I think, to get to the quest. All right, so I need to do a sharp left and then a right, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, still a bit of a way to go, so I may as well grab my mount. <laughs> oh, is he all the way up there? Damn it. <laughs> Try again. Okay, awesome. There we go. It's a bit weird how that trample is just all by as lonesome, isn't it? Okay, so which way? Right here. What's that? Okay, that's just a grazer, it's fine. And I heard an, an owl, guys. <laughs> Where are you? 
Wait, what's that? Is that a blue gleam? No, it's not. It's a dead watcher. God damn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you purple? <gasps> a frost claw. Oh, crap. Do I want to fight him, guys? I tell you what. Look, look. I tell you what. If this is a machine site, I would like to fight him. But we'll do that after we complete the mission. Yes. No, no, not now. What are you doing? How? how? Guys, how? What the hell? <laughs> God. Oh my God, I'm petrified. <laughs> okay, we need to get out of it. Look, I know he's here. I know he's here, so that's fine. We're going to come back for him. Okay. I hope my mount's okay. <laughs> Let's get him. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Now, really? Okay. Okay, run. Go. <laughs> go, go, go. All right, here we go, guys. All right, is this the place? Find rail part. By the way, um, I'll just read out the quest as well. I don't think I did read it out to you. Okay, Banuk Shaman tells Aloy of a cave in the far north. Used by the shamans or shamans are uh, four materials to craft their spears. Find rail part, that'll be 5,000 XP. One spear modification. So this is why I wanted to do this. Uh, so hopefully we can now start modding our spears, which will be amazing. Plus one blue gleam. Always happy to hear that. <laughs> All right, guys, I think this is it. So we need to drop down. And what is that? This must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, hold on. The stalker's here. Okay, guys, let me... No, I want to switch to... That. Ah, oh, crap, guys. You know what I could do? Who's that? Okay, do you know what I could do, guys? It's probably me being paranoid, but... Maybe... <laughs> stalkers are going to come from here. Or they could be inside. Anyway, one thing at a time. Let's do this. I'm going to do a defensive perimeter here. I guess we could do one here, I suppose. Okay, and there's a repel point as well okay cool here's what we do then now is this well covered if i was a stalker and i ran into it yeah i would run into that of course i would okay cool <laughs> all right guys let's jump down oh shit okay all right okay guys hunt oh stop what hold on is that a plane Guys, that's a fighter plane. Check it out. Oh, that is so sick. Okay, guys. Oh, sorry, just a little bit more insurance. <laughs> I'm so paranoid, but... The funny thing is, they may not even be coming down here. They might be further into the facility, so... Maybe I'm worrying about nothing. Okay, let's grab that. Let's find this blue game a better help. Yes. Okay. Right, what is this? Damaged. Guess the Banuk already got to it. I'm trying to read it, but it keeps on closing off. Okay, magnetic, uh, sorry, magnetic clasp rail for mounting ordnance. Uh, damaged by inexpert part removal. Okay, that's been you trying to take it out, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Check the area with my focus, maybe. Okay, fine, but what exactly do you want me to do? But this is so cool, guys. <laughs> All right, let's grab that. What's up here? Okay, Aloy said use focus, so I've already scanned that. There was nothing there. What's this? A platform console control interface for drone transport platform. Okay. There's something here. If I can move that nice. Machine over a little. Okay, I think I understand what Aloy wants us to do. So let's grab that. Can we pry this open? 
No, it's not giving me a prompt for that. Maybe there's some way to get that flying machine over here. Animal figurine, guys. Okay, we need to get that. Yes, okay, cool, cool. Okay, what is it though? What animal is it? Right, animal figurine five depicts a slim antlered animal inscribed five of seven in a commemorative set 2042 montana recreations trade at hollow hall for valuable rewards that's awesome guys <laughs> and there's a bear as well that that's so awesome it's sad as well because you know they're not um they're no longer with us now just have to go up okay so can i do that from here no we can't okay let me drop down All right, what about this? Oh, come on. What? Sorry, I'm confused, guys. Oh, wait, 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 something here. I didn't look at this. My focus might see something here. Okay, I get it. So we need to go there. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go. Okay, activate console. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Huh. Not so grounded after all. Now I can get across. I'm actually still unclear. What, what do you mean, get across? Oh, wait. Examine. Ra no. Jesus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> One sec. Okay, examine rail guide. Oh. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm still a little bit unsure what... Oh, I get it. Okay, so we can go here. I get it now. That's fine. And let's collect a data point. Lock. I'll need to configure it. Okay, let me check this out first. Right, hollow lock resets. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo Sierra Echo. <laughs> Echo Sierra Echo. That's Blevins again. He's such an arse hat. <laughs> right, Codexus. I wonder if my focus can pick anything up. Aloy, do you want to stop telling me that? You've said that about 500 times now. Okay, Echo will be that, and then we want to go south. Echo, Sierra, Echo. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait, guys. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Let me just check. Uh, no, not that. Data points. Let's go here. Okay, frozen wild data points. Okay, let's look for it. I've already read this to you guys. Or have I? Yeah, I've read that already. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry, my bad, guys. I thought there might be some stuff to read. Some text as well, but there isn't. Okay, that's cool. Not all of them have it. Is there anything else? Anything else? No. All right, what's happening here? So this is probably the dude's office, <laughs> I think. I lead. Focus might find something. Okay, fine. Give me a sec, Aloy. One second. Right, there's something down there. Okay, we can't do anything here. What's this? Oh, that's the door. Duh. <laughs> right, focus can find something. What, actually in here, or do I have to go down? Oh my god. Okay, guys, let's go down. Alright, where are we? Okay, there's another data point. Good. Right, grab all of these. Oh! 
I understand Mr. Blavins. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. <laughs> okay, Which guys. My focus. Shush, Aloy. <laughs> okay, guys. All of these events, whatever this place is, I know it's in Yellowstone in America, and forgive me, I don't know anything about, um, well, not much about America, except for burgers and pizza. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't know what the significance of Yellowstone is. What I did find out is that it, there's like an extinct volcano there. That's the only thing I know about, and there's also a big national park, a nature reserve, and that's all I know. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Uh, you can forward this, skip ahead, I leave everything in timestamps if you're not interested. Okay, I understand Mr. Blevins, blah, blah, blah. Right, Miss Pines, Dodd Blevins. Right now, I'm looking at a security drone. It was requisitioned from Faro Automated Industries to serve the needs of the Firebreak project. See, this is what I'm unclear about. What is Firebreak? It is, in fact, one of an entire fleet handpicked by me and allotted for our use by Ted Farrow. Yes, the man so far above you on the ladder that he might as well be God. <laughs> this guy is such an arsehole, guys, honestly. And I have a direct line to your father in heaven. <laughs> what a prick. Now, you and I had a conversation in which I tried to impart to you the sensitive nature of our project. And if I recall correctly, you said, I understand, Mr. Blevins. I took you at your word, which apparently was a flaw in my judgment. Since you have sent me a goddamn fleet of flying CCTV cameras and a bunch of jerk-off <laughs> eggheads who think they know more about protecting this country than I do. Now, your technicians are going to provide me with the firepower I need to prevent a major act of terrorism from occurring in or around my facilities. They are going to do so without increasing our project budget. Because, Miss Pines, this is your screw-up, and I am a reasonable man, but so help me, if you add another cent to Firebreak's balance sheet, I will see to it that you, you personally, answer to Mr. Farrow and his board of directors. So I want you to call me back. I want you to leave me a message. I want that message to consist of four little words. I understand Mr. Blevins. <laughs> and this time, I want you to mean them. This dude, guys, you know what? He's... Please. What? So I did. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to look at that. She said something about a cease, right? Okay, what's this? Nothing. So we have to go through here no matter what. Yeah, this dude is an arsehole. <laughs> it really is. Okay. Wow, what's happening here? Stalkers? No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. I see. So we get a brand new uh, thingy, right? It's it. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Ban him. <laughs> what? Uh, from Harris Bonner. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, this is written text. Right, to Kenny Chow from Harris Bonner. Ban him. Kenny. I get it, okay? I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kissing, blah, blah, blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're, we are budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet, Kenny. <laughs> Why? I imagine you're wondering. Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavioral uh, routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviours, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. 
So they're meant to be, what, drones rather than... I mean, they've obviously, they look like planes, but they're really drones. Anyway, think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on Firebreak's time. I'm begging you, Kenny, find a way to bar him from the hangar. Please, Harris. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Okay, I think we got it. Alright. Alright, excellent. Okay, it's so nothing else, I don't think. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> right, let's go this way. Okay, did this pay off, guys, or was I being too paranoid? Introduced. Oh, crap. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, damn, no ammo. God damn it. <laughs> I always forget. Crap. Oh, God damn it. Okay, was that his laser as well? Well, I've got shield weave army, piece of shit. No, hey, no, don't climb up. Oh my god. Is there any more? No, it seems to me it was just the one stalker. I think I went a little bit overboard with the wires, but because I've got wires up there as well. I was a little bit overkill, guys. All right, so we collected our figurine. I think we got all the data points. I hope. We'll see. And what's this? All right, metal shards. Okay, we need to see that shaman. However... Guys, I want to fire Frost Claw. I might die. I don't know. <laughs> but let's let's fight it. All right, come on, up, up, up. Right? Did he hit any of these blast ones? No, he did not. God damn it! Guys. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit overkill. I shouldn't bother with all of these. But hey, at least I can collect them back, so that's good. Wait, there's something there. No, that's why. Okay. Whoa, guys. Guys, I can hear another stalker. You know that low frequency rumbling thing? Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, I don't want to mess with him right now. I want to fight. Uh, hang on, guys. I really want to go down here. Uh, was he here? Oh, there's a hunting grounds, guys. Okay, not today. Maybe in the next episode. Um, let me just find out where that um, frost claw is. And we'll take it from there. I can't remember, guys. I don't want to mess with this stalker right now. Alright, where I'll be. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, jeez, he's right there. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Um, you know what? Let's just kill him. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, no, that's his laser. Damn it. Oh, good. All right, he's totally naked now. <laughs> okay, um, hey, don't run away, you piece of shit. <laughs> My finger slipped, guys. <laughs> oh, I'll try to get him in the eye. I missed. Damn it. Let's use that, actually. Oh, my 
god. He's so stubborn. You know what, guys? Let's just finish him. It's fine. He's still alive? No, crit hit. Oh my god. Guys, these these um <laughs> demonic machines are so tanky. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? Guys, that's a frost claw. I can hear him. Okay, let me just collect all of these. I've got to learn how to fight them properly, but I know removing not removing, sorry, blowing up their icy bits will really help. Okay, where are you? There you are, guys. Is he on his own though? Alright, I want to be smart about this and I have got high damage in these. In this bow. I've got fire just in case. I know, sorry, was it Eddie uh, Munson? I think he told me it's better not to really put them on fire. It's just better to just shoot their weak points. Alright, this is a good test because I want to see if the shield weaver is actually good against elemental sorry He's so awesome, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I forgot he's got a grab move. Okay, let's get rid of that plate. Did I actually work, though? No. You know what, guys? I've just noticed he's got a shock thing. Whoa, whoa. Who are you? Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Remember, I've only fought this dude in the shaman's path. Oh no, don't get involved, please, Lance Horns, please. Oh my god, Lance Horns, please leave me alone. Oh, you son of a bitch, you actually... You actually missed that blast wire. There wasn't a blast wire there, that's my fault. Oh my god. Okay, try that again. Lance Horns, leave me... Oh my god, this is nothing to do with you. This is between me and him. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, I think that plate is still on his chest. Okay, please. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Oh, crap. Hold on, please, hold on. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god! No, I don't want to call anyone! Oh my god! Dude! I didn't want to call anybody. That was an accident. Oh no, charge! I'm so sorry! He's gonna get killed. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you kidding? Alright, guys. Yes! <laughs> okay. Right, we need this chest, guys. We need it. Oh, crap. Oh, he's so close. Oh, my God. Run. Run. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, come on. Stop covering your chest. Lance on. Seriously, dude. Okay, good. Good. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's go. Crap. Ah, oh, so hard to get those things. Maybe a blast wire? I don't know. Okay, guys, what I was trying to say earlier, there's actually a shock thing on his back. <laughs> Sorry. There's a shock thingy on his back. I was wondering... Whoa, yes! Whoa, this is awesome. Guys, this fight is so exciting. Leave me at home. Go away, Lancel. Oh, 
that was amazing guys i love that fight it's so cool what an awesome fight <laughs> all right let's leave that there while i'm looting this dude oh man i love i love fighting these things i need to fight more scorches as well i only fought one again i think it was uh, into the frozen wilds all right guys i think our work is done for now so i guess um i guess we'll just teleport back all right tell you what let me just loot up i'll do this off recording and i'll see you back at camp hey guys we are back okay i just teleported out of there once i finished looting there was still two or three lance horns but i just couldn't be bothered <laughs> anyway right let's go and see the shaman should be down here i guess guys i keep forgetting to use that uh stormbringer thing i keep forgetting we need to use it i just want to try it out at the end of the day but all right everything's sharp and looming in the rain guys this dude's headdress is insane <laughs> dude anyway is this what you hush hush a shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud is this what you wanted me to find <laughs> to your spear use it to attach this for now you'll find more i'm sure why are you helping me the blue light is fading the machine songs are ending and and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification <gasps> parts to my spear. Yes! For me? Yes! Might as well get started improving my spear. All right, guys, let's do that now okay oh we could do two that is excellent okay fantastic right i wonder can we get elemental in this like shock extra shock perhaps all right i've only got these two guys this is the only purple one i found um since part one i've been you know finding these throughout the entire playthrough but it will normally be green i think i did get a blue one but i think i broke it down because i ran out of space anyway check it out so we're gonna add 24 percent extra damage okay this main weapon is quick like yeah yeah i know that okay it's nothing new it just okay i guess when you hit something it'll just it will hurt them all <laughs> all right what about this okay so what do i have now right we got 49 damage sorry i think if i get a purple one we can max it out i think that's how that works but that's pretty cool <laughs> excellent all right guys what we're gonna do before i actually finish up there is something i wanted to read to you guys because i found it in devil's grief it's actually a data point i haven't read it myself i was waiting until you guys were here but there is a place where they're telling stories around the campfire so let's go and see if we can interact with that okay this is where our attack is normally is it here? Damn, I've got to actually find it. Okay, it might be... Might be further up. I know the merchant's nearby as well. Right, that's the merchant. Here it is. Okay, let's check this out. Guys, this is all optional. If you're not interested, the episode is more or less over. But, um... Whatever. <laughs> who led us through the frozen wastes. We also remember the ravenous tribe who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. Everywhere Banukai and her Werak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she dreamt of light. She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same blue light. When she woke, she knew which star to follow. She walked for many days and nights until she arrived at a temple built from sparkling ice. At the gates of the temple, she was met by the machines from her dream, who bowed to her as she entered. 
Inside, Banukai discovered the blue light, bubbling from a hole in the snowy earth like a spring. You bid me come, she said. My people need aid. Will you provide it? The machines whispered to Banukai. We go where the light goes. For we are its chosen vessels. There is darkness in your heart. It cannot hold the light for long. Carry it to your people if you must. But the cost will be great. Banakai waded into the pool. The light reared like a nest of snakes and struck Banukai, piercing her skin, filling her up. Banukai did not scream, though she was in agony. Banukai did not collapse, though her limbs shook. She climbed from the pool and carried the light inside her. She marched toward home and the machines marched behind her. As she walked, the light struggled to push its way out of her, but the machines were there to aid her. She sewed her body shut with their cables, patched herself with their metal, and kept the light within. When she arrived, the forces of the Ravnus tribe had surrounded the camp. Although the light had left her with a thousand wounds, Banukai charged. And because she held the light, the machines followed. The Ravenous tribe killed many, but those in camp rushed to join the battle. They gathered pieces of the fallen machines and from them fashioned weapons. And it was with these that Banukai's people repaid the suffering the Ravenous tribe had wrought upon them. When quiet descended, Banukai finally fell. The machines bowed their heads, and her werak wept. The light she'd held within her drifted from her knees and rose to the sky. And for just a moment, before life left her, Banakai knew the truth of the blue light. And she felt peace. We remember Banakai, the first to crawl from the cave beneath the world, brought the machines to us. When we speak the name of our tribe, we remember her. And we will not forget. Guys, that was amazing. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Painted the same way for That was amazing. Why must cool That is so cool. We remember Banukai. I hope there's more. I don't want it to just be that. Who are you? Are you okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> what was happening? Probably taking a crap. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, look, <laughs> before we close out, like I said, this is only optional, that story and uh, what I'm about to read. If you're not interested, I'll see you guys in the next video. For those who are interested in the lore, etc., I found... Where are we? Where are you? It's this one. Okay, I found this in Devil's uh, Grief, or... Devil's... Yeah, Devil's Grief, right. Um, that was in the last episode. We were doing some collectible hunting. So I found this. It's called Hearts Wins Bahamas. No idea what this is about. Hart declares victory in fight for the Bahamas. Nassau, December 22nd, 2062. So this is before the Pharaoh Plague, I guess. After weeks of skirmishes between the robotic forces of US-backed Hart's corporate... Wait, is this Hart's as in the Hart's team or is it those dudes? US-backed Hart's corporation and the Columbia-based co uh, Combine... TG Communications, the islands that composed the former Commonwealth of the Bahamas, have been officially acquired by Hearts, pending a successful request for enfranchisement. Interest in the Bahamas, newly re-emerged since polar ice reconstitution caused global sea levels to recede, was sparked by a Bahamanian beaches rich uh, beaches's rich deposits of Aragon night. <laughs> okay, a mineral used in the chemical scrubbing of water-based pollutants. Hearts, which commands an already impressive robotic military force, enlisted the aid of Michigan-based 
private military corporation Great Lakes Combat Solutions to capture TG communications manufacturing facilities. The much smaller Col Colombian corporation defended their Bahamanian facilities for longer than early projections antip anticipated. Thanks in part to robot lease agreements with the Indian military but was ultimately forced to retreat in the face of a large and better equipped acquisitions force. Hartz has announced intentions to holocaust an immersive extravaganza highlighting the most explosive moments of robot on robot conflict. However, as of press time, no scheduled date has had been set. All right, <laughs> cool. All right, guys, so um, we'll leave it there. There's still somebody we need to speak to here, apparently, and she's like a painter or something, and she's the one we get these uh, pigments. Let me just show you if I can find an example. Right, there's one here. So uh, it's these uh, pigments. Now, this is all part of for the Rat Werak thing, but we just need to do one more. I'd like to do them all, obviously. S uh, securely. So we need to speak to Securely. And um, we'll find her maybe next episode or the episode afterwards. Or we may go back to the main game to uh, finish up a side quest or something. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you enjoyed yourselves, please leave the video a like. I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.